I don't got to tell this crowd just how excited I am for this documentary to finally come out. Being James Bond, honoring 15 years in podcasting and YouTube videos. Uh, wow, to finally be acknowledged with, with, with such a prestigious documentary. I, I mean, this is just absolutely, I mean, talk about humbling and flattering. I mean, this is just, just, huh? What? Who? Oh. 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 Oh, yeah, well, that makes some a little more sense, I suppose. Uh, okay. Uh, hey, how you doing? It's your good buddy, Head of Section, here to review the documentary with the very interesting title, Being James Bond. <laughs> I mean, who, who would have, who would have, who would have ever thought of that? I don't know. I mean, who, who, who would have thought of such an interesting name? And it's not about, uh, uh, anybody we know, personally. It's about somebody else. <laughs> That's great, isn't it? <laughs> I thought I wouldn't know how to handle it. But I knew we were doing something really special. Okay, so what did we really think of Being James Bond, the documentary uh, about Daniel Craig's tenure uh, as James Bond? Uh, I overall thought it was great. I, I enjoyed it very much. It was... Um, I, I was sort of talking back and forth with some uh, Bond friends today and they were predicting this is probably going to show up as an extra on uh, the Blu-ray when it comes out, which I think is probably almost almost certainly true. Um, it, it does feel like that. It feels like kind of one of those old school documentaries that uh, we were so used to on the Bond DVDs and uh, this was no different. Um, and it was, it was, it was a nice sort of walk down memory lane. I wouldn't say there were a few things that jumped out at me and kind of surprised me a little bit, but most, I mean, for hardcore fans like us, most of this, we sort of know, but, but that was okay. I mean, it, it was really just a, a, a nice journey down this road that we've all sort of been on. And, you know, going all the way back to the beginning of, you know, the announcement of Daniel Craig, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, so, yeah, it was it was a nice, fun little journey. Um, you know, so, and, and I kind of, uh, one of the things that surprised me, I, I liked how it ended with Daniel Craig getting very emotional, which which kind of surprised me. I, I, I Maybe I shouldn't have been that surprised. You know, I mean, this is kind of... Um, a milestone in his career it is the end of, of something that's been part of him for 15 years um, and, and I've never really um, subscribed to that whole you know when, when he said I would rather slip my wrist than do another one so so again I, I wasn't blown away by this this revelation that he was so uh, you know emotional but it was a little surprising when to actually see it so that was pretty cool, and I, I like that. I like that he had he, he does have good feelings about being James Bond. Um, so again, not shocking, but just nice to see. Very nice to see. Um, and again, one of the things I didn't realize, I don't know if I heard it and just forgot it, but I didn't realize that he did mo most of Spectre with a bum leg. So, you know, like, like there was already a lot of things about that movie that, you know, there, it, it was not really working. Um, that's probably a good part of it. Um, you know, I, I like the, how they reference that scene in the opening where he's following, um, uh, what's his face, Skiara down the, the, through the through the parade. Um, and, and I kind of just sort of always read that as well. They, they, they did foot chases in the opening of Casino, in the opening of Quantum, um, and really in Skyfall too. Skyfall had a little more variety. But this was a little, just a little more stealthy, just to change it up. But now that I sort of look at it through the lens um, that they presented today, uh, yeah, I guess that was a big part of it, that his leg wasn't really working. So let's just kind of walk and keep it. Hey, but it works. You know, again, I, that was a, I like that one. That scene pretty well. Um, so yeah, overall, I thought it was really well done. Um, a nice treat. It was visually pleasing. I like the look of this, this documentary. There were some moments where I thought they seemed to pump up some of the color. I, specifically, I was thinking when I, they were showing some of the first few shots from Quantum, 
it seemed to have a lot more saturation than I remember in the film. Um, so yeah, I, I, and so, but what was nice about that is that the the documentary does sort of highlight the great cinematography that we've we've been getting from all the Craigs. Um, all of the Craigs, minus Sprecher, uh, has great color, um, great visual, just a great visual look. Um, you know, I, so I was I was really glad that they kind of focused on that. So anyway, thumbs up for the Being James Bond uh, documentary. Hey, by the way, thank you, Ray Crumple, for the very cool um, thumbnail. Uh, frankly, I wasn't really sure how I was even going to approach um, this review. Everybody's been coming to me being like, did you hear what they called the new doc? I'm like, yeah, I know. Uh, in fact, I heard a while back that this was in the works. Um, so again, probably not not a shock that my little t-shirt, humble little t-shirt store got shut down. Um, but I, I, I should also reiterate too, and I mentioned this in the last video, um, I, I'm very happy um, that I didn't have bigger problems. I mean, you know, if, if the powers that be decide they want to do a movie and they're going to call it this, uh, a lot of, lot of little, little humble little um, content creators don't survive that. Sometimes they get shut down or told to change certain things. Um, so as far as I know, uh, I haven't had any problems. And as I sort of said last time, I, you have to wonder if the conversation came up, and I, I assume it had to have. Uh, I, I mean, when you, one of the first things you do when you're going to title a movie or something, you usually look for the URL and say like, okay, is the domain name for that taken? Uh, that's usually the first indication that the title is, is in use, etc. Uh, so you have to assume that somebody somewhere said, oh yeah, there's a guy uh, who does something called Mean James Bond, and, and the decision had to have been made, all right, let's not pick on him, let him do his thing. Um, so again, I'm very grateful that that's how, how it happened. Um, that's about it. That's, like I said, it, it was a short documentary. It was really nice to have something that kind of fills in the gap. Uh, again, we had the, the first 20 films, you know, especially when we bought the first round of DVDs, they all came with really great in-depth documentaries on the making of and, and other aspects of Bond. We really haven't had specifically that in a while, so this felt like that. Like this would, this would join that other family of documentaries. So it was very, again, very nice, a um, lot of fun and a nice, nice way to spend an evening. So if you haven't seen it yet, check out Being James Bond, the other Being James Bond. That's it for your good buddy head of section. Uh, we're getting close. We're getting close. I'm pretty sure we're going to see this film. Uh, I can't say 100% certain because I'm hearing arguments still happening about whether or not this is going to happen. Uh, but I'm going to I'm gonna go with I think it is. I, I don't think they can postpone it any longer um, because at this point, I think the whole landscape of cinema has changed so I, I i don't think there's a perfect day to release it even if they wait so and i think they sort of know that at this point um, but that's a whole other topic um it's your good buddy head of section signing off thank you again as always for watching and keep living like james bond keep being james bond <laughs>